What's going on? So this video comes out Derek Jeter, the Yankee great, who apparently was upset because he was one vote from being unanimous first ballot Hall of Famer. He wanted to join Mariano Rivera. This is a dicey call. Now, Jeter is considered one of the five greatest New York Yankees ever, whether you like it or not. Some of them white fans who are loyal to Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig and all them who got to feast and and profit pre-black era. You know, y'all gonna have to eat crow on this. Jeter belongs in there. His jersey retired, he belongs there. Now, was he the best shortstop of his era? No. But he got five rings. He was a league, he was a World Series MVP. He was big time. The captain of the Yankees. Make no mistake about it. He was the new Mr. October, the new Mr. November, all due respect to Reggie Jackson. Jeter came a big clutch. Whatever you need. Big plays in the postseason, big times in the post regular season. You know. Now Rivera pitched one innings and was dominant. Mo was dominant. And it's a very tricky proposition here because they do should be long together so, so, so much because Jeter is more important as a Yankee than Rivera. And I know that's going to sting you, but Rivera had one pitch and he was dominant for what he did. But Jeter was dominant, period. He was the leader of the team. And he, all around purpose on offense and defense, speaks volumes. No one's ever going to put a relief pitcher in the same stratosphere as an all-around in infielder who was dominant both it was great in the field and great on offense defense and offense so he should have been and he said they should be held accountable for the person who didn't feel that way about him what were they basing it on now you can always make the criteria but he had more of a full-fledged career than Omar Garcia Pera Miguel Tejada and his buddy, the former teammate Alex Rodriguez, and Lil A. Ride had what you call a better statistical career, better talent. But when you put all the bodies of work together, no one's seeing Jeter with seven trips to the World Series and five rings. It's kind of hard to argue against his dominance, 3,000 hits, and just what he meant. He covered so many bases. So I understand why he was upset. He should have been unanimous. To think about it, that they put him in Yankee outfield with the best of the best and Cooperstown can't have him unanimous, somehow that don't even add up. And I was searching for this story too, so I found it. Anyway, please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Share it if you like. I'm out. Peace.